I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And that crow is interrupting me. And we are back to Mystery Case Files Ravenhurst. And we're finding out that bad stuff is happening and while this house is being built. And I think the last thing we found out was that the main character girl, her dad died, and she's going to have to go back to America. I'm pretty sure that was the last bit. So let's see what's going on now. All right, so here we are, back looking for random things in random places, as you do. Oh, and the screen is tiny and I have to move it close to my face so I can see better. I am not gonna miss that when we get past this point in uh, our find, uh, hidden puzzle, hidden, I can't talk, our hidden object puzzle adventure, wherein we're playing all these really, really old games. I need a clothespin, a scalpel, and a pick. What else do I need? Balloons. I know where the balloons are. And there's the file. And the clamp was over here, wasn't there? There's a key. I don't need a key. I need a fish. I saw a fish. Picks on the front of the car. Yes, it is. It's alligator. There's a fish. I saw the fish. There's a fish on the roof. Alright, clothespin, scalpel, clamp. Those were the things I needed originally. That's not a clamp. That's a... I mean, it's a vice grip, but it's not really a clamp. Clothespin. I don't think I've seen a clothespin either. Is that a clothespin? No. Clamp is on the window. <gasps> yes, it is! And I totally saw that! Tag nab it. I saw that when I first loaded up the screen. Good job, me. Clothespin and a scalpel. Scalpel is a word that sounds like it should be able to cut through stuff, doesn't it? Like, it's sharp and pointy. I am... Not focused. Why am I not focused? Why am I not finding anything? All right, we're, we're gonna go to the next one. It's for some reason, my brain is like not having it. Okay. Mush. I thought that said murder. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Mushroom. Let's see, a pencil. The screen is tilted. My children are being loud again. They were nice and quiet while I was not doing anything important. Magnifier, which is right there, and a box cutter. There's some scissors. I don't need scissors. There's a machine gun, again. Oh, there's the leg. A seven. Oh, there it does say murder. I'm not crazy. I thought that was a shrimp, but that is an apple. Is that not an apple? Oh, I bet that's a fortune cookie. I thought that was like an apple slice. I need a frog. Pencil, apple, box cutter. There's the apple, pencil, box cutter, seven. Shrimp heaven now? What? What? You need to explain. There's a shrimp because you, you're confusing me and I'm already confused. So, you know, that's not going to work out well for anyone. Box cutter is below the shelf. Yes, it is. Up oh, there's a the pencil. <laughs> Great. I will have you know that I just edited a video where you and Locke were singing Our House over and over and over again. And now I have that stuck in my head. So I blame you for that. Yeah, in the middle of our house. Correct, that version. Mm-hmm. The one that just plays forever and ever and gets stuck in your head forever and ever and you slowly lose sanity. That would be the one. Let's see. I bug the spray. Ooh, there's a cute little castle. What else am I looking for? A golf ball and a crutch and a compass. Oh, a pair of bolts. No, not that one. Do you, you probably don't know. Do you know the our house in the middle of our house freaking meme? Yeah, you have to send him a link to that so that he has to listen to it, too. Yes, yeah, do it, do it, do it. It's your own fault for being snarky. What am I looking for? A pair of bolts and a bug sprayer. I can't make you, but we can greatly encourage you and annoy you unless you do it. Spider. What do I need? A pair of bolts, bug sprayer, and a crutch. Where's the crutch? 
I think a crutch would be big. That's one of the other issues with, with the older games is sometimes they have like little stuff that's really big and sometimes they have really big stuff that's really little. Ah, oh, there's a crutch. Like that's not the right size as compared to a telescope, for example. Oh wait, I just saw the bug sprayer. There it is. I saw the compass too, there it is. All right, where are the bolts? Hey, there's a lion noise. Is there really a lion in this house? Up, oh, there's a bolt. That's what I thought they'd be on the neck of something because it said a pair. All right, we did the second floor, third floor, the library. Ooh, I think this is a new room. Yeah, I would believe it too. An antelope. Wow, there's, look, there's a shark. Oh, I need a shark. <laughs> I knew that. Let's see, an antelope, a teapot, and a mandolin. There's the antelope. Antelope is a good word. And a cactus and a chicken and a bug and a pizza. There's a pizza. All right, a teapot, a mandolin, and a cactus. A mandolin. And a cactus. No teapot. Teapot. And a chicken and a bug. Okay. And a crab, they're like bugs. And a moth is a bug. But no, there's a bug. Oh, there's a chicken right there. All right. Chicken on the chair. I think we were in this room last time. It's a ghost chicken. And an olive. Um, okay, anchor, helmets, padlock. Padlock. A hand and an accordion. Hand, is that an accordion? Yes. And a hand. There we go. And a pencil and a bat and a postage stamp. Pencil. And a bat. And a postage stamp. Postage stamp. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Up, oh, yeah, okay. So she's leaving and going back to America because her dad- Oh, he's not dead. He's dying. He's really sick or something. It looks like her ex-boyfriend uh, doesn't like that idea or is confused about it anyway. It's not really that hard to figure out. Got family issues, you know. My kids are so loud. Very weird haircut in this picture. Like, I forget when this is happening, but I don't think it's when this haircut was in style. Oh, loud children. Yeah, this doesn't look like that. That looks... well, maybe. I don't know. It just looks weird. I don't know why. Sort of like a 40s haircut. Okay, diary entry found. Entry 8. May 24th, 1895. I must return home. The headmistress was quite compassionate regarding my situation. She offered to pack my belongings, but I could not let her. She has already done so much, gone far beyond what her duties di dictate. Charles did not react in such a manner. I informed him that I must leave, that my father is ill and my family requires my presence. He's greatly upset. He nearly went on a, into a tirade. He made an attempt to flatter me, I believe, with the explanation that his new home would be named in my honor. I must wonder if he is attempting to secure my return to England to him and his home. I must prepare my departure and cannot think of such things right now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Correct. Okay, so yeah, I didn't figure he'd be overly thrilled. Even though they're not really dating anymore. But like, maybe he was hoping she would change her mind or something? I'm not sure. I mean, back then, going from one side of the ocean to the other was not really very simple, you know? And it could be like a once-in-a-lifetime thing to travel from one side to the other. So unless she had a reason to come back, she pr 
probably wouldn't. Where's the owl? There's a turtle. I love the dinosaur topiary. That's adorable. What kind of a topiary would you have? Owl in the tree. Oh yeah, you're right. What kind of a topiary would you have if, if you had a topiary garden? Because that dinosaur is a pretty good idea. Hand print. Ball of string. Totally a dinosaur. Dra oh, a dragon would be good. Yeah. A dragon would be good. You have a dragon in the night fighting. I don't know how easy that would be. I'm not sure how topiaries work exactly. I mean, I know that there are bushes that you shape into shapes, but. That is something I do not have a lot of knowledge of. Let's see, we need a caterpillar. There he is. All right, now a scale weight. I assume they mean like one of those little, oh, I just used my hands to show you what I meant. That's totally gonna work when I don't have my camera on, huh? Scale weight is on the bed. Oh, yeah, look at that. I was thinking of a smaller one, but yeah. That is exactly what I was looking for. The garage. Wait, why do they have a tram in their garage? That's not a car. That's like, it's on a rope. That's weird. Also, I don't think they had lights like that back then. Just saying. Oh, right, we're in modern times. I forgot. We're in modern times. A story is happening in the past. And I don't know what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? A radio. And a hand. And toilet paper. And a cantaloupe. And corn. Celery lower left. Yes. Ooh, with the hand. Yep. A money jar and a bell. I thought I saw a money jar. Ooh, there's the corn. And the money jar. And bell and headphones. Bell. Let's see. Toilet paper and headphones. It would help if I was actually looking for the things while I was moving the mouse around. Oh, there it is. Oh, the Widow's Walk. That is such a cool name for something. Alright, let's see. That's Is that a... No, that's a pie. <laughs> Not a nest, it's a pie. Oh, there's a nest. All right, let's see. A train and a file and scissors. There's a scissors. Oh, there's a woolly bear. Uh, let's see. Train, file, and a horseshoe. There's the horseshoe. Oh, there's a train. And a mushroom and a one and a spider. There's a scorpion. Scorpions are like spiders, except even pointier. And a frog. What am I looking for? A file and a mushroom. Oh, and a one. There's the one. Okay, so just a file, a mushroom, and a spider. Go this way. What's with these classes? The Groucho Mark classes. I've seen them in like every uh, find it puzzle today. Oh. Wow, that was fast. Jeez. Wait a minute. Why is she passed out? I mean, I don't remember her being passed out in the last scene, and she did. She seemed like she was upset, but she didn't seem like she was gonna pass out. I don't know where the piece goes. Is he kidnapping her or something? I mean, dude, she needs to go see her dad who's dying. Get over yourself. I think he might have done a crime. You are probably not wrong. Oh man, I wish my kids would go upstairs. Wait a minute. My kids have off tomorrow too, so that'll be fun. Why do I... Oh, there we go. Because it's President's Day! Which I never really figured out as a kid why we needed off for, but I never complained because day off from school is a day off from school. Okay, let's see. Entry 9, June 1st, 1895. Unwell. I'm feeling unwell and retired shortly after dinner this evening. 
I'm certain that my malaise is the product of sad goodbyes and the stress of leaving England. Oh, maybe he didn't do anything bad. So abruptly. Oh, I'm sorry. Stress of the, the stress of leaving England so abruptly. It's probably apprehension regarding my father's condition. June 2nd, 1895. The ship upon which I booked passage to New York has already departed without me. I've contracted a high fever and find it difficult to stand for even short periods of time without intense vertigo. Concern for my father's health has gained a friend in my fear for my own well-being. Charles has graciously offered boarding and attendance within his newly completed manor until I am well enough to, wake my, to make my long journey home. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that's also a crime, too, um, just in case anyone needed to know that. Generally speaking, you're not supposed to uh, poison people. That's bad. And don't do that. Not even if you have permission. Still illegal. I am totally not looking for anything. Okay, letter pipe lightning bolt. I don't know about that. Christmas light bottom under the lightsaber. Lifesaver, not lightsaber. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, there's a light bulb. All right, let's see. Letter, pipe, lightning bolts. A uh, ruler, a camera, and a spatula. Camera on the second shelf from the top. Yes, it is. That's a camera. Thank you. I was going to say. Ruler and a spatula. There's a spoon. All right. Letter, pipe, lightning bolt, ruler, spatula. Ruler above the lobster. Everyone is doing the game for me today because... Apparently, I am not doing the game today. <laughs> um, letter... Well, yes. I forget what I'm doing. Oh, there's a machine gun. Did we already see a machine gun in a different room that was, like, already set up? Letter, pipe, lightning bolt, spatula. Or was that in the other game? Lightning bolt is near the frog. Yes, it is! The frog and the lobster are friends. Except the lobster is dead because he's cooked already. A letter and a pipe. Is it scary fish? Those are letters. Techni oh, wait, is that a letter? All right. That looked too thin to be a letter. And, oh, we can just go to the next one. Let's see. Uh, first floor. Let's go to the parlor. A trombone. And a pear. And a cinnamon roll. Ooh, a cinnamon roll sounds good. I'm actually... Oddly enough, not hungry. I just had a whole bunch of strawberries. And they were delicious. Not as delicious as fresh. But I will take what I can get. Yeah, it was delish. I have, I have a love for strawberries. But, like, they're expensive in the winter. And it's still winter here. A belt. What am I looking for? A trombone, a dial, a scrub brush, and a siren. Okay. Oh, wait, I saw the siren. That's not really what that was. They were on sale. Nice. Well, I think they might be in season like in California or something now. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's really cheap considering how much they normally are this time of year. Yeah, they must be in season in California or something then. Bong, bong. I'm looking for a scrub brush. And not finding one. Oh, I don't need to. Let's go to the next thing. The kitchen! Why is this stove facing like the wall? That's weird. All right, we need a clamp and a flask and a glove and a cat. I remember there being a cat. Where's the cat? I don't remember. I mean, initially, yeah, that's the first thing I find weird. I mean, there's also lots of other weird things. But, like, the furniture should at least be in the right place. And stoves are hard to move. So the fact that the stove is not where it's supposed to be is a little bit weird. Poo on you. Cat in the window. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I knew what you meant. All right, a clamp and a glove. Oh, there's a glove. Can I see the clamp? I do not. All right, next. Oh, the surveillance room. Darts and a pipe. Wait, I saw the dart here before, didn't I? Probably. Darp, a darp, a dart and a pipe wrench. 
and an aspirin and a peanut. Peas are in the upper left. Those are grapes. Oh, there they are. Yep. And a cherry and a calculator. That was a weird noise. Wait, is that the aspirin? Okay. Aspirin isn't that color. Cake pan above the raccoon. Oh, wow. That's really good. That's a nice hiding spot for that. There's a button. Oh, is that a cherry? Okay. I thought maybe it was. All right. Dart, pipe wrench, peanut, calculator. Dart, pipe wrench, peanut, calculator. What is that noise? Is it supposed to be somebody screaming? I'm waiting for it to happen again. I can't tell. Wait, I need to wait until it happens again. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It kind of sounds like a cross between somebody shrieking and a car squealing. You are not wrong. All right, let's see. Eggplant. Praying mantis. Praying mantises are so cool. I brought, I've bought praying mantises in the mail before, and then we hatch them, and they're all outside and eating all the mosquitoes, and I love them. There he is. Those aren't really symbols, but that's okay. And a red pepper compass hammer bottom middle yes and a caterpillar in a teapot and a caterpillar there's that big fishy again caterpillar that looks like a monarch caterpillar and what am i looking for a teapot oh i don't have to look though haha -ha. in the attic oh we got a door cool okay let's see we have a hammer that has a three on it. And the dolly's eyes. That's creepy. <laughs> that one doesn't do anything. This says something. This spins. Is this spin? That spins. That doesn't do anything. That spins. That I can't use yet. Okay, what else is going on in the background here? That's the doorknob. What about this picture? Can't ring the bell on their own. Okay, so we've got one, two, three... Aha! Uh -huh. Four, wait, one, two, three, four, five spinny things. Oh, there's the sheep. Needs to be seven. Like seven o'clock? No. Needs to point to seven? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay! The sword needs to point to six, which is right there. The hand. And needs to point to four, which is over there. And I guess this is the order for the... Oh, no, it's the direction. A, N, V, K. And that flushed the toilet. Which I can now do that. Um, okay, now what? Oh, he's going to pull the hammer onto the doll's head. This game. Okay. <laughs> Necklace and a monocle. Is that a trout? That looks like a whale. Is that a trout? Yes. A five and a three. Maybe there? No. Alright. And there's a creepy doll. Eyeglasses. And a footprint. Footprint. 
There's that cat again. There's a bat. Um, let's see. An eagle and TNT. There's a TNT. An eagle. A five and a three. Eyeglasses and an eagle. Oh, that's the eagle. A five and a three. Up oh, there's the glasses. What do I mean by five and a three? Huh. Well, I don't need to look for that one, so that's fine. Two. Oh, I do need to do one of these. Let's do this one. Why not? What's a five and a three? I clicked on that. Yeah, I got that. I clicked on it once already and it didn't take it. All right, uh, let's go over here. A scrub brush. Do we see a scrub brush? I do not. Where is it? Oh, wow, that's good. I would not have found that. In the pantry? Why not? Where's the pipe? They're usually- oh, it's right in the middle. Oh my gosh. Good job. Okay. Oh, maybe she's feeling better, finally. I mean, he- uh, probably. I mean, he's working on something, but and he just finished his house. I'm not sure why he's still working on stuff. I am not good at puzzles today. Why am I not good at puzzles today? My brain is like not in a, the correct place. Oops, wrong thing. I usually do these way faster than this. I still think this would have more of an impact if you didn't actually know where the pieces went. But then I guess they'd have to show you all of them at the same time, because it'd be hard to guess just based on five of them, you know? I wonder if that'd be harder to program. What is going on? Oh my gosh. Yeah, my brain's just not here today. All right, let's see. What is he doing? Entry 10, June 10th, 1895. Unusual behavior. Uh-oh. While my malade, malady, whatever, goes undiagnosed, I'm left to search medical encyclopedias for comparable symptoms. Although many have passed from yellow, fe from yellow fever, I'm thankfully not experiencing evidence to its presence. Charles takes good care of me, but lately has become rather withdrawn. I often hear peculiar sounds from his workshop, and he appears to be keeping odd hours. My accommodations are pleasant, and I spend the greater part of my day resting in hopes of regaining my strength. When possible, I enjoy exploring this wonderful stately manor. Charles has built a most beautiful, albeit cluttered, home. He appears to take great pride in procuring an absolute hoard of varied non-essentials. So he's a hoarder. Good to know. And he's doing something suspect. All right. Oh, he's going to a shark. What's he doing, suspect? It's not nice to be... He's not hoarding, ladies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. What am I looking for? A hair dryer, a bat, and a snake. Doop -doop. Oh, there's a snake. And a toilet plunger. A weird thing to have in the library. And a jester. Which right there. An angel, which I totally saw. That's a Christmas tree topper. And an ashtray. Hair dryer, bat, toilet plunger, ashtray. Bat is in the fireplace. Well, he's flying out of the fireplace, if you want to be specific. Hair dryer, toilet plunger. I can't even talk. Oh, there's the ashtray. Toilet plunger. I'm throwing my words. Plunger, upper, right. I don't believe you. Oh, there it is. You're right. Oh, I didn't even notice. I guess we're doing another door. Yeah, here's me paying attention. Okay, let's see. There's a book with a hook and a knife. Feed me. Just one more. That's different. Okay, I can change these. And the can can spin. Does it spin the other way? 
Oh, I already opened it. Okay. Come on. Ooh. There's a kitty. And this changes. And this spins. Alright. Huh. Okay, so we have... There's... All right, so... Okay, so there's a one and a two and a three. And he poops out an egg. And that opened that. And that was doing this. Huh. Oh, one is an egg or something. Yep, two is a money. Oh, wait, there it was. It was a sense. And three is... Which one's three? I guess... Does it matter? Okay. Now, oh! That's it. I did it! I didn't even figure that one out yet. <laughs> Let's keep going! Yay! Some of them are weirder than others, and some of them are harder than others. Is that a necklace? No. It's a piggy. A cat puppet. There's a kitty cat normal. There's a cat puppet. And a spear. And an eight ball. And an apple. And a snake. Alright, so a halo, a necklace, and a spear. That knight's name is Bill. That's not a spear, that's a sword. Is that a necklace? That's more like a bracelet. It's a very tiny chain. Alright, a halo and a spear. There's a halo. And a spear. Once again, you'd think it'd be easy to find the spear, because it has to be long and pointy. And straight. So there's like limited places you could hide it. Oh, there it is. Okay, and the study. Oh, the postage stamp is here. Oh, I forget where the lobster is. There he is. Actually, that looks more like a crawdad than a lobster. A rope. And a shovel. And two umbrellas. One. And somewhere else is two. And a reflex mallet, which I totally saw. There it is. And a rifle. And a fork. So an umbrella and a fork. Middle right for umbrella. Middle. Right. Oh, that. Yep, you're right. It was a closed umbrella and a fork. Can we see a fork anywhere? Nope. Okay, next. All right, a corkscrew on window two. Oh, I'll go back and get it. I'll go back and get it. A corkscrew and a cupid and a cherry. There's lots of cherries in this game. A cupid and a shrimp. Lots of shrimp too. Whoever did this game was hungry. Did we ever find the seven here? I don't think we did. Pineapple. Pineapple. Bananas. Bananas. Okay. Corkscrews and a seven. Is the seven on the clock? Where's the clock? Oh, there it is. Well, no. Oh, wait. No, that actually looks like a seven, but it's not. And the seven on the clock is behind the feather, so that won't work. Good call, though. Where's the cork? Up oh, there's the corkscrew. Let's hint it. Oh, it's dice again. They've done that to us before. Cheaters. Alright. A plunger and a clothespin and a football, which I just saw. There it is. And coin stacks, which is right here. And a bowling pin and a flower and a 
dart, which I just saw too. There it is. And a vertebrae, which is over here. Okay, a plunger and a clothespin. There's a plunger. Where's the clothespin? Nah, I don't see it. Alright, next. Treehouse. Why is there a skull in the treehouse? That's not a good place for a skull. There's a wood mask. Alright, where's the plane? There's a plane. And a pick and earmuffs. There's an owl. A pick. Pick and earmuffs. I've never really understood earmuffs. Unless you wear them with a hat. And then I don't understand it because you're already wearing a hat. That might just be me, though. Let's see. Earmuffs, compass, tape, and a stapler. Earmuffs. Oh, those are like... Those aren't earmuffs. Those are headphones. Or ear covers, anyway. For, like, noise, not cold. That makes sense. Because you need to protect your ears from noise, or you will go deaf. And then, that will make life much more difficult. Compass, tape, and stapler. Tape. I have a lot of school supplies in this treehouse. And the alligator. And a chicken. I don't think the alligator and the chicken would be friends. There's a lady peeking in the ceiling. It's kind of creepy. I keep seeing the toaster. My eyes just want to go down there. And that's not where the thing I'm looking for is. Huh. Alright, let's go to the next one. Because I don't see nothing there. Okay, where were we that you saw the thing? Do you remember? What was in the library? Was it the study? Tuning fork. I was looking for a regular fork. That's why I didn't see it. Thank you, Ott. Music room, clothespin. Clothespin. Oh no! She's getting worse! Maybe she has the consumption, or whatever it is they called it. Don't you wish you lived back in the old days when you would just die of random crap because medicine sucked? I mean, it's not in color, but I would think if that was the case, that the mustache would be lighter than the surrounding area. It, it seems to be kind of a dark color. And yes, now instead of dying because of terrible diseases and stuff, we get put in debt because of terrible diseases and stuff, which I guess is not fun either. Or we just die of certain things because people want us to go back to the Dark Ages, apparently. Entry 11, June 14th, 1895. Doctor visit. I grow weaker with each day's passing, and last night took a turn for the worse. I am now experiencing blackouts and find it difficult to keep my mind focused. My body seems almost incapable of regulating temperature. June 15th, 1895. The local physician arrived again this morning and ran his routine array of probing and reviewing of my failing condition. I'm exhausted with the endless parade of horse pills and repulsive elixirs I must ingest in hopes of restraining my symptoms. Charles too has become exceedingly fatigued with the burden of my care and has suggested we take hire of a live-in nursemaid to provide assistance. I am fortunate to have such a kindly friend. Huh. Maybe he is poisoning her? Oh my gosh, I did it again. Oh, he yelled at you. <laughs> Alright, push the button and that moves. Or did that just move randomly cuz? No, that just moved right. I just broke the, uh... Wait, there's a fly. Fly away, fly. I put my guts in yours? Possum innards? Goose grease. There's another one. What's with all the flies? Okay, I like popping the corks. That's pretty cool. I need money for this. 
That's the lock. Flies. And horses. I don't get it. Am I supposed to... No, it's bedtime. It's not. Go talk to Dad. No, it's not bedtime. Well, good. It's quiet time. Tomorrow's a day off. Oh, I was afraid that's what I needed to do. Knock, knock. I don't have the time. You don't have the time to do a knock, knock joke? Who's there? He says who's there very creepily. Erdite, you're not allowed to help me with the doors unless I ask. Alex, Sue. I figured out where the door is. It. This is the door, you boob. I. I can. I figured out something. Okay. We're. We're still doing the joke. He said, "I'll explain later. Let me in." Ha 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 ha. I think you've done that one before. Okay. Could, could you go on, please? Come on, out. You and I won't bother you tonight. The that rest, seems unlikely, we'll doesn't it? Bother you for there's Fred. Please? Out! I didn't get a nickel yet. I need a nickel. Hey, there's a possum. All right. Now that my brains are done, how do I... All right. Red, yellow, blue, green. All of these numbers. Oh my gosh. I me. All right. There's... Blue wire goes to the blue one. Wait, there's four colors and only three. That weird possum. Stop it. You're creeping me out. One, two, three, four of these. And four of these. And four of those. But there's only three flies and three, like, um, fuses, I guess. Do I have to hit them at the same time they're going? All right, let's see. Red. Red goes over here, but red isn't connected to anything. Huh. I don't get it. What am I missing? Oh, wait. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So 35 is this one. I don't actually know what color that is, though. A piggy bank! Okay. Okay, I guess they didn't win. All right, so now let's do again. Wait, or do I not need to do it again? Now it's red that wins. You jerk. How do I tell which one's gonna win? No, I don't want a hint, shush. Okay, there's got to be a way to figure out which one's going to win. Does it have to do with which one is... Is shoot... Like, okay. Oh, I can move this again, but do I need to? That one goes to 35. That one goes to 100. That one goes to 0. You go to 200. Can I hit the button again? No. Okay. So that part's done. What if I just do this one more than once? And don't switch the color. And the green one wins. I might just have to do this until the color I'm picking wins. And there's red. If the next one isn't blue, then I think I'm missing something. Okay, it was red twice, so that's not right then. Hmm. This blue wire goes to this one. That one's the 35. Hmm. There's another clue I'm missing. Where is it? All right, what am I missing? It's got to be with the dials. I'm waiting for the possum to come back. 
If the possum has red eyes. Ah, ha, ha! I was right. Or I wasn't and I got lucky. Either way. Whoa, this is... Why are we in the safari suddenly? What room was this supposed to be? Let's see. Clamp savings? Probably a piggy bank or something. Okay. Corn and an anvil. There's another machine gun. Whoever lived here last certainly had a lot of machine guns. There's a rose. An anvil and a monkey. There's a key cat. There's King Tut. An oil can, which I thought I totally saw. Maybe that was in the last level. Nope, there it is. And a wrench. Okay, a clamp, savings, and corn. There's corn. Wow, I did not see that the first time. Clamp, savings, and anvil. All I hear are stomping feet. There's a the wrench. Is that the funnel? No. Funnel on the garbage can. Oh, you're right. Clamp, savings, anvil, and the monkey. I'm surprised I haven't seen the monkey. Clamp, savings, anvil, monkey. Monkey above the door. Oh, you're right. You know what? He looked like more like a bear to me, I think. Clamp, savings, and an anvil. There's our iron. They're kind of shaped like anvils. And the rubber chicken. Oh, there's the savings. Money jar. Okay, a clamp or an anvil. Oh, there's the anvil. All right, next room. Oh, that was the shed. There was a giraffe in the shed. Good to know. All right, rubber chicken. Bowling ball. A donut. I love donuts. A pick. Oh, the owl jar. I saw him last time. A ladybug. A fish. A shovel handle. That was interesting. A bowling ball and a shovel handle. I think the bowling ball would be easy to find. Bowling ball. Shovel handle. Upper right. Oh, you're right. Where's the bowling ball? There it is. Found it. I was looking for a black bowling ball. Backyard! This level perplexes me and I don't know why. One mask. Two mask. A toucan. You're not a toucan, you're a crow. Those are different types of birds. A hydrant, which I totally saw, and now I don't. And balloons again. And a snake, which is up at the top. All right, so we need a scalpel, a toucan, and, an, and a hydrant. There it is. I knew I saw it. Oh, and there's a toucan. I knew I saw that, too. Where's the scalpel in this level? Hmm. Front porch. Oh, no, somebody broke the bass fiddle. All right, let's see. Tire iron. And a level. And a fishy. Fish, fish, fish. I got my wish. For some reason, as kids, we thought it was funny to, like, make a wish and then whatever happened next was the thing we wished for and we would drive each other crazy saying, oh, that's, I got my wish, I got my wish, or I knew it was coming true, or stuff like that, and just over and over and over again until we got bored, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, we were very strange children. What can I say? Fish, safety pin, acorn, and another lizard. Yes, we were weird children. We also spent a lot of time, yeah, and now we're weird adults. We also spent <laughs> a lot of time um, in the car traveling from like, well, when we lived in Vermont, it was just traveling to like anywhere because everything was far away. But yeah, we would travel a lot, like, back and forth to places in Vermont, and then we would go visit people in New Jersey and Connecticut, and so we spent a lot of time in the car before there were electronic handheld things. And I get car sick, so I can't read in the car, though my sister can, which is not fair. But uh, yeah, so we would do all kinds of weird stuff in the car, 
like that. I know there is an acorn in this level. I remember finding it, but I do not see it. Oh wait, I found it. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that's fair. We, we just, <laughs> we didn't really fight in the car so much. We were just very strange and talkative. Very, very talkative. Which I can see being extremely annoying if you have to deal with it for six hours. I mean, technically y'all are sitting here listening to me talk on purpose, but you don't have to do that all the time. <laughs> Where is the half moon? Oh, there it is. Boop. Okay. That is a... Oh, I remember this. That is a weird looking skull thing. All right, let's see. Those are peppers, not fruit. Bowl of fruit. And the Eiffel Tower, which I'm pretty sure I just saw. I did. There's a watermelon. An onion. There's a frog. Uh, what else? Jelly beans! I saw those. I, I've been thinking about jelly beans lately, and I don't know why, and I can't wait for Easter to come so I can have jelly beans. I never have jelly beans unless it's Easter. Like, not even just because I have my rule of I don't eat candy outside the month of its holiday, but I don't usually think about jelly beans, except, like, when it's Easter. I could really go for some jelly beans. Sounds really good. I don't know what I'm looking for. A flashlight and an onion. There's an onion. I thought I saw the flashlight though. Maybe not. The taxidermy room. That's right. I forgot that that was called that. The, bleh. I forgot that this was called that. All right. Let's see. A flute. A cobra. You're not a cobra. You're. Oh, you are a cobra. I thought you were a cane. A baraka. <laughs> Oh, I remember the crutches. There's the crutch. Oh, is that the hammer? Hammer. And a brush. And a coconut. And a thread spool. And that lion has a marshmallow on his ear for some reason. A little bit strange. Huh. Uh-oh. Well, these book titles don't look super inspiring, do they? I think, I know, I think maybe, uh, Mr. Man is getting into the occult. I wonder if it's because he's trying to fix her or trying to make her worse. It kind of looked like it fit there. It did. It was just upside down. Good job, me. Come on, that one went there. What are these, a Necronomicon? I think that's what this one says. Oh no, it's necromancy. I was close. Started with the same words. Letters. Whatever. I know what I'm talking about. The necronomicon is pink? Question mark? I don't remember that. Spells. Black. Is that supposed to be rights? Something like that. Dark magic. Just spelled wrong. Necromancy, spirit writing, talk to the dead, and knew something or other. Well, she doesn't look very happy, does she? Necromancy. Entry 12, June 21st, 1895. Strange behavior. Charles's absence has become increasingly commonplace. Although he benevolent... Benevolent... Hmm, benevolently tends to me... He is often away from the house for extended periods and returns with the most unusual oddities. One such example is the ever-expanding library on the floor above my quarters. He has taken up an affinity for compiling an extensive assortment of books and manuals whose subject matter would chill your very heart. Great tomes on, the top on topics including dark magic, voodoo, and witchcraft have exceeded shelf space and must be piled waist high. 
I was aware of Charles's penchant for the written word, yet this theme of choice is most unsettling. Hmm, guess so. Weird grounds first. Garage. Pencil. So I guess he's up to no good, but what is he planning? <sighs> Do what? Mm-hmm. I knew it. <sighs> now they're singing in the comments again. The funniest part about that is you can't hear them. I can't hear them either. Still they sing. What am I doing? <laughs> you guys keep making me lose my train of thought. <laughs> a peapod, pocket knife, false teeth, and a steamboat. I I might be. It, it's hard to say. Again, like if I had thoughts that like traveled forward in a constant direction, I'd probably have more regrets. <laughs> But as it is, I do not. Oh, there's a peapod. Don't jump. That's a good idea. All right, uh, pocket knife, false teeth, steamboat. I saw that there's a teeth. Okay, good. Are you going to start singing again? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Now we're on queen. This is why I have a stream by myself. <laughs> oh, otherwise we would get copyright hit almost instantaneously. Oh my gosh, I can't even. That would be insane. You guys are very talky. No, we can't do that because then you get copyright hit or something like that. So I've been told. Not that I have enough money for and or money. I was thinking of the dollar. Not that I have enough viewers for that to be a problem at all. But I, I assume that that would be an issue at some point. <laughs> That's funny. A harp and a flask. Okay. You're better than some people I've heard. Which... Honestly, isn't saying much, but still. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a harp and a flask. Why do I not see the harp anywhere? I think that'd be hard to hide. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Gods are ridiculous. Flask again, umbrella stand. Where? Oh, I keep thinking that's a freaking cheese grater. Thank you. Baseball bat. And a bike tire. Is that that? Yes. And a wooden spoon. Oh, I just saw it. Dang it. There it is. Ball of string. Bad next to bed. Bat next to bed. Bat is next to bed. That's a good place for a bat if you want to use one like as a self-defense weapon, I guess. Bellows. Bellows is a good word, too. What am I looking for? A hand drill, which is right here. And bellows and a wasp and a mushroom. Bellows are on the carpet. Again, yep, right in the middle of the room, where I never look for some reason. A wasp and a mushroom. There's the mushroom. Why do I never see things right in the middle of the floor? That's silly business. All right, a cloth sack. A red pepper. Tambourine, which I do remember being here somewhere. Binoculars. An hourglass. I lost my train of thought momentarily. I mean, to be fair, it probably wasn't that momentarily. It was probably quite some time. I just assume it's going to come back again, you know? I'm starting to ramble, aren't I? Choo choo. Oh, my train of thought. Ha 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 ha. Binoculars and an hourglass. There's a train. See what I mean? An hourglass. Hourglass is in the middle. Yes, it is. 
And the binoculars are also in the middle. Next to that giant bug on the mop, which I would not be okay with in real life. The Witto's Walk. Let's see. We need eggplant. And... Yes! They, they're they mostly running in the same direction on the same tracks, though. So, I've got that going for me. Like, generally speaking. Potato. What am I doing? Oh, ice cream cone. Um, eggplant, wire cutters, wire clippers, and a saw. Wait, I saw the saw. Saw the saw. I saw it somewhere. There it is. Eggplant, wire clippers, and a clamp. Why do I not see the eggplant? What is that? Oh, we went over that. That's one of those um, chompy plants, like from Little Shop of Horrors. It needs its teeth, and it's got leaves coming down on the pot. It just looks like it needs to be watered, though. Eggplant, wire, wire clippers, and a clamp. There's a clamp. And it's a bird, not an eggplant. Yes, that would be it. Mm hmm. There's the eggplant. It was tiny. That's why I didn't see it. I have never seen that movie because the thought of it always freaked me out. And you guys love that movie. Oh, no, I understand the situation. This was totally on purpose that I did not see that movie because the concept of it freaked me out. <laughs> It doesn't like scary movies. And I know it's not scary, it's silly. But when I was little, it was scary because I did not like the concept of a giant plant that could eat people. I was not okay with that. And you shouldn't have been okay with that either. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, my kids would hate it. My kids don't like watching movies as is. Oh, no, no. They, it has nothing to do with the content. They just don't like watching movies. Like, at all. The only time I can get them to watch movies is, like, if I literally force them to. But they don't like anything that might even remotely be scary, especially Kid 3. Technically, no. Technically, we started at, like, 7.15. Uh, it's only funny if you are not scared of everything. You know, like, dentists or getting eaten by plants, or, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> you were just a strange child. Keep that in mind. We've already had this discussion today. We were strange children, we're strange adults. Alright, entry 13. I guess we'll stop here. The clue is funny, though. Entry 13, July 13th, 1895. Feverish dream. I cannot sleep. Each time I do, something wakes me and I feel chilled. This night it was a terrible dream, a nightmare that was seemingly quite real, which made my blood pump so that I could not rest. I was here in this room, sitting in my wheelchair. I looked down to see myself wearing a gown of white, beautifully made of lace and satin. It took me a moment to recognize that it was a wedding dress. I felt a paralysis throughout my body as I sat frozen in this gown. My soaring temperature is causing many such frightening nightmares. Also, I'm quite concerned that I have yet to receive further communication from my home. My father's health weighs greatly on my mind. Uh-oh, that doesn't bode well, does it? But I guess we're going to stop here because we're going to stop here. And just, just so we're, I think she did get married. I think he put a spell on her and she got married. I still can't figure out if he's the one that's causing her all of the health issues or if she just has really terrible luck though. But I definitely think he hypnotized her and dressed her in a ball gown and then they got married and she didn't know it. That definitely tracks. Just so we're clear, don't do that, people. Not not nice. You uh, should never trick people into marrying you. That is uh, not okay, generally speaking. <laughs> but do lo watch Little Shop, of course. I would probably be fine with it now. I just didn't like the idea of giant man-eating plants. Kind of 
did not like that idea. Though that's not like a fear I have. I just thought it was really creepy. And it also slightly creeped me out that everyone else thought it was a good idea. Because you guys loved that movie when you were little. And I mean like little. You had to have been like seven or six. I mean, Max was older, but you were tiny when you liked that movie. And that's slightly creepy. Just, just FYI. <laughs> All right. Well, next time we're going to do Mystery Trackers and then we'll do the next Grimm's Tale. Grim Tales. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Led to some interesting instances of uh, movie choices back then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm Fate Touched, and I will see you later. Bye.